really, as a brewer, all you are is a shepherd of yeast. And if you take care of your yeast, like you would take care of a flock of sheep, they will always do right by you. If you come into this job without love, without love for the product, without love for the process, you will never make a great beer. Nobody is gonna do this job unless they love it. I mean, I come in here on my days off and you know, make sure my tanks look good, you know? This is all based upon the English fundamentals of brewing. One mash tun, single infusion, you know, a boil kettle, and then fermenters. I don't have access to the great English hops, but I have access to American hops that are better than anything they can produce. So I will take an English recipe and then kind of slap that independent American style on it, you know? There's still things we're still learning about fermentation. It seems so basic. We've been fermenting crap on this planet for as long as we've been humans, you know? And we still don't know some of the basic things. I, I graduated from college in 95 and went to a brew pub. The day I graduated college and started drinking and I was like, why did I get a degree in economics? You know what I mean? Like, one of the greatest moments a brewer can have is being in here, making beer, and just casually looking out at your audience and seeing a man or woman just kind of take a sip, right? And then put it down and go right back into their conversation. That tells you that that beer is awesome. These people are connected with this brewery because of their experience with that beer and they keep coming back for it, you know? And it's my job to facilitate that.